And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some buffed elusives. All right, so we're going to be replaying this deck that was a lot of fun before where we're just trying to play some elusive creatures, uh, which you know can only be blocked by other elusives. And um, because, you know, because they are elusive creatures, they're usually a little undersized. You know, we have a three mana, two, two, two mana, two, one and, and stuff like that. So since they're a little undersized, we want to uh, make them bigger. And so that's what we're going to be doing with this deck. We're going to be buffing them up using Green Glade Elder here. And then also Omen Hawk and um, Av uh, the Hearthguard, Avarosen Hearthguard. Um, so that's that's kind of our plan with, with this deck. Um, it's almost the same list that we played, but I'm changing up a couple of things, just kind of changing up some of the interaction going with some some more brittle steels instead of all elixir of irons from the last time we played getting rid of those frost breaths and putting up a, a putting a couple uh, top end cards in here the bloodsworn pledge grant two allies plus zero plus three and remember that's uh, for the rest of the game you know like that's not just uh, until end of turn so if we want to block with our elusive creatures that are usually not that good at blocking the bloodsworn pledge can help out by uh, pumping up two creatures. And then a, a Stand United is a really nice trick at the top end also. So we have a little bit of Challenger in here with Usari. I think that's our only Challenger card. Yeah. So, um, But we're basically trying to race. You know, We're kind of playing a, a game where we're trying to race the opponent and um, make our flyers really big in order to do that. So, All right, let's play seven games over in Ranked with some buffed Elusives. Uh, thanks, Bearded. Yeah, yeah, that's that was very, very rough. But, um, yeah, so I only have Zed as a champion. Yep, that's the only champion that I have in here. Because we're, we're mostly just trying to be in the air. All right, we'll replace this and also the Twin Disciples. Um, but, yeah, thanks for the kinds word there, Bearded. But, um, no, I'm, I'm, playing, I'm playing this new game, Legends of Runeterra instead of magic uh, i wrote about it today of why I, I recommend people playing the legends of runeterra also it's a game that's been out for basically a month now Hang on, so not too long there's nothing to fear they'll never see us coming So it'd be nice to get the Green Glade Elder and play first. Oh, nice. What are you playing, Rex? From the I'm just gonna play the solitary monk and bounce bounces my two one, but it's a four three flyer. Hey flames, yeah, change the name. Now you've gone and upset it. All right, four mana. Okay, you got Demacia for all your deck. Sweet. Thank you so much, Beard Beard Town. Thank you so much. Tread lightly, strike hard. All right, so this is a pretty scary uh, situation that we have going on over here. Let me change into something more. Come together. Release all these spiders. 
does not look good for me. Brittle steel, brittle steel is a good draw. Blech. That's a good draw. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, ho hopefully you do. Ooh, skitter. The war mother will unite us all. So of course they have like all these things have challenger as well. So I, I can't actually block any of these things. They're all fearsome. Yeah, Avalanche, yeah, Avalanche would be really nice in this matchup, absolutely. They should do that after damage. Now they just don't get that spider. One damage off from killing them. Can you play a? Well, let's see. No, I'm. Wait, so we play this. I mean, they could just have removal, of course. But if they don't have removal, we can have. Yeah, I can attack them for lethal if they don't have removal. No, or they have that thing. All right, well. Well, that made my play worse now. Because I was going to play this, pick this thing up, play it again, and then this would be doing 4 damage. It would add 4, 8, 12. I really wish that Inspiring Mentor could block you know, with our deck. You know, we kind of need those chump blockers, but with the Spider Queen Elise, and all these things have Fearsome, we can't just chump block. Fast as rain, light as air. You cannot escape. That's a really bad sign for me. It's a very bad sign for me. Good. 
looking for a daring escape. Defeated. That Spider Queen Elise got me pretty, pretty bad. What do we got here? We got a one, three, I always like playing Omen Hawk as early as possible. And so this is going to be another spider deck. And so we want to pump up these Shadow Assassins to make them 3-2 so they can block the fearsome creatures. There we go. Good Omen Hawk. Getting that thing to be a 3-3 is a pretty big deal. Okay. Seems like a waste of a rush. A waste of a card that just, you know, just kills that. Uh, that little one two. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what. Say more. I don't, I don't know what those things are. Like, I don't know what death rattle is. I don't know what those things are. But I, I didn't really talk about uh, Hearthstone in my document too much because I don't I don't have any experience with Hearthstone. Talked about Legends of Ruterra and Magic. Your path alone. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cards that give you random cards. I don't think there's really any any problems with any cards that give you random cards in in this game. I mean there's RNG stuff there's there's that kind of stuff like where you don't know how good the card is in, in magic also. Uh, just like the first thing that comes to mind is like collect a company. But it's not like Yeah, I have I have no no problem with whenever a creature dies, die, like whenever this creature dies, draw a card. I mean, I don't I don't have any problem with last breath whatsoever. Into 
Oh, I thought I was going to have another chance to, to respond. Like, I thought they were going to have another priority session after that. But I guess not. The order rewards its fate. I guess, what's my point? I mean, it can, like, those kind of cards can, can be really exciting and, and fun to play and everything. I mean, if it's, I've, I've heard that Hearthstone went way over the top with it at, at points, but I don't, I, again, I'm not very, I'm not educated enough to say, you know, if or how much they went over the top with it. But I don't think either Magic or this game is too far over the top with any kind of random number generator type cards. Two, three. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. Yeah, like there there's definitely cards that give you random stuff, but I don't think that they're overpowered. I don't think they're problematic. I guess I could I could put it that way. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Skitter out from the dark. Alright, so there's 10 cost cards that cast 10 random cards, targets chosen randomly. Yeah, like that's that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, like, so I mean, uh, yeah, like that, that stuff's ridiculous. You don't really need me to tell you that. I guess I need to put one of those, I guess, in front of Hecarim. Give Hecarim five toughness for Yusari. Get rid of these things. None question me. I sense a darkness in you. Yeah, for for now, Panda. This is part of the training. A taste of my skill. I am a true master.
Could frostbite one of these things. Yeah, just kind of phasing it out. I, I did talk about how, um, just how I really like, I wrote today about how I really like Legends of Runeterra and why it's such a good game and why I recommend people picking it up. Hmm. A tribute to the Spire God. A dangerous land. So close. Dang. They killed Zed. When they have blockers for Zed. They're out there. I'll spot them. Hopefully, no removal. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Yeah, it's game one way or the other. Either they have no removal and I win with the elusive creatures. Alright, stayed alive just long enough. That was close. Alright, one and one. It's the thing about the game, you have just so many close games like that's basically everything is a close game i love it but it's a little nerve-wracking all right so it looks like we have a, a similar deck they also just have zed for their only champion they're also going to be elusive heavy but they're going demacia instead of freljord um don't have a Two drop, but besides that, I like the I like the hand. So I feel like I feel like this uh, Bloodsworn pledge could be a really good trick for this matchup. Yeah, sorry, Panda. Never mind. And there's the two drop. Wouldn't be surprised if they have the same two drop. The Yordle here's with me. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, no trades. No tradesies. There, even though I have like some some tricks, the reason why I'd want to trade is because um, it's kind of better for me to have less things in play for the monk. Huh. I guess that was burst, and I couldn't respond at all. It's unfortunate. It 
cannot hide. Hold up. Stop. Yeah, so I guess I'd have to do it before the burst spell. I would have had to play something. But it the burst spell would have ruined anything I would have tried to play, so it, it's fine that it didn't work out. No, you can play you can play burst with any mana. Yeah, you can play burst any with any of your mana. Full speed ahead. If I must. <sighs> that thing's burst also, but okay, that's Plus three, plus zero. So it's still two health, so I can frostbite it. Traditions are lost if not passed on. <clears throat> All right, pumping them up. The dark beckons. For the honor of my house. Training is unconventional. <laughs> they probably like want to keep mana up for a trick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how much this deck's back. Um, you know, we're only one and one today with it, but it's pretty fun to play. They picked the wrong row. So of course they can just you know have a trick available. I'm gonna wait until I have this stand. To uh, Stand United. Ooh, Will of Ionia is good. Just bounce this thing. Keep this thing from being a 10 4. It's too late for you. I hope this works. Yeah, but the thing is, if I just block first, as we've seen, if I just hit block, if they just do the burst spell again, then it doesn't go back to me. Then it just goes straight to damage. So I kind of have to cast this Will of Ionia now. They need to have Deny. Okay, they do have Deny. That was the only card that could save them there.
Oh, burst will give you response? I don't know. It, I don't think it did earlier. But I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh because it was it was during battle, so it wasn't before conducting battle, so it was It was you know like during during battle like that, like I, I assigned blockers, I said block. Okay, so it's supposed to pass priority back. Like my blade. I'm not sure. Some of the, the some of the timing things are still a little tricky. So I don't I don't know. These are dangerous lands. So I still might have my six mana for my stand united. All right, they got their three cards left. What what kind of tricks do they have left? Give an ally plus one plus one. Well, that doesn't doesn't oh. save it. Avalanche? No. Okay, so I should get priority again after the burst. Okay. Yeah, of course the burst resolves, but then after it resolves, then I get priority again. Okay. Oh, we need it. We need to do some more challengers. Ooh, tomorrow we're going to be opening up that vault. Getting all those cards. Oh, a Vladimir deck. It's Vladimir, right? Yeah. Vladimir's cool. Yeah, so Crimson Tribal. I have like two Vladimirs right now, so I want to put together a Crimson deck, but you really need like the three Vladimirs, it feels like. Yep, I, I, I can see that CDN. CDN says the standalone elusive deck that we just played against has a hard time against other elusive decks because you get to block like they're all in on their elusive creature.
Frisky Biscuits! With the resub. Thank you so much there, Biscuits. Um, ooh, attack. Uh, ooh, so my Zed's a 4-3 now? Awesome. We are in gold two currently. I am the blade in the darkness. At least that doesn't die to um, avalanche, which is nice. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. We go as one. Hey, Don Sodger. Yeah, I just I wanted to take the MTG out of my my channel name. Yeah, that was just a good, real good strong hand for me on this life. I mean, well, my best possible hand for turns one, two, and three. And we're three and one. And just wanted, just wanted a channel name that, you know, is versatile and can be used for everything. <laughs> Seems like Crimson Trial didn't survive the damage two trigger. Yeah, so Curator was bumped up. So yeah, I guess the deck tracker hasn't been updated, I guess. Um, yeah, Curator was a card that was... Yeah, it was bumped up to a 3-3. Three, three, uh, whenever that was, about about a week ago or so, whenever they, they did those. This is not a good hand. We're playing against... Elise and Hakaram or Hecarim. Mm. I was hoping to draw. I guess this one. I'll go this one. No, we'll go this. You sorry, because then it can it can kill Hecarim. Um, I was hoping to draw, you know, like a a three drop that you know we could just pump up the three drop right away. There was that three drop I was talking about. They cannot hide. Hey, what's up, London? Yeah, stream name changed today. Um, yeah, I think I think elusives and flyers are, are just real similar. That's how I just kind of, you know, just think of them basically the same. That's a good hand. Yeah, I think a, a reach mechanic would be helpful. Yeah, I think that would make a lot of sense. Something that can block elusives. I think that'd be that'd make sense for for them to add eventually. Yeah.
So I'm going to be trying to use this Usari to kill a Skitterer. Uh, I'm not sure, Don Sodger. Right now, I don't have any plans to stream Arena again, but I don't know. Right now, I'm focused on Legends of Runeterra. I, if you missed it, I, I wrote about why I really like Legends of Runeterra there and why I think it's such a good game. I know it doesn't have as, you know, a as big of a following right now with it being such a new game, but I think it has a lot of potential. All right. Very well. Yeah, very well. We'll try a frostbite. I think it's better to play Zed, like, you know, to double spell right now than play the other Usari. Really? You're waiting until today to do that? Well, I got 13. I guess I should have gone with Usari first. Could have, you know, could have had another 14th, but they probably have some removal. Oh, Vengeance. That's expensive removal. Go, Zed, go. You would test my steel? I am not afraid. What's up, Rochian? I'm doing great. How are you doing? No. Alright, they're down to three. We gotta survive. Gotta survive. Bounce. That should help us survive for sure. Yeah, playing the sentry instead of just say bank of the mana. We fight for one Freljord. One Freljord. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Alright, let's see. You can block you. You can block you. You can block you. And I'm taking two damage. Alright. I want to make sure that a mark of, mark of the Isles... That's the one, the, the giant growth, you know, don't want to die to giant growth. Ooh, my favorite region so far? I don't know, I like, I like different things about all the regions, honestly. Yeah, I honestly like different things about all of them. I don't think I really have like a favorite one. 
At least not yet. So we're playing against control. Yeah. Yeah, right. Definitely wants every single region to be playable and you know every region to be to have a place in the metagame. Yeah, they they said that in the the patch notes from the last one. And so that's that's really nice. Hmm. Let none disturb my reputation. I think the five four is the hardest thing for them to just kill right away. You know, it's not, it doesn't just die to a bolt or a mystic shot. Oh, yeah, back to back. Yeah, back to back's really good. They, they, that's what Rex is talking about. They did change back to back to be, um, to be six mana instead of five. It was five mana before the last patch. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Yeah, but like even like the car the cards that they changed aren't like they're not unplayable. They still play a lot of the cards they changed. Oh, yeah, all of them, really. Um, and and of course the the reward system of like getting cards is so good that you know some get changed. It's it's really it has I like I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Like in, in Magic, when something gets banned, it loses so much value. It's not really like that. Save the whole oh my gosh. That must be nice. So they just played Troop of Elnux, summon each Elnux in the top 10 cards of your deck, and I guess they had, they had three Elnux in the top 10 cards of their deck. Nothing escapes my watch. That, of course, can be very, very powerful. Yeah, they, they got a real rancher over here with all this cattle. Hmm. No, if they it's not if they miss there they auto lose. That's not that's not true at all. They'd still be at eleven and they'd have, you know, like their two creatures and four like they would not auto lose if they miss there. That's it's not accurate at all. Unfortunately, like, so I want to play the Stand United, but if I play Stand United, I don't get to do anything else. Maybe I just play Usari instead.
They do Mawful. Yeah, Slay the Spire is awesome. Yeah, no, I've, I've played a good amount of Slay the Spire. That's a fun game. Surprised they killed the Zed that they can easily block. Don't have more removal. No, no, let me untap. I was gonna say we had 10 power and like we were like we were gonna win if we got to untap. So seven mana. Go that, that, and try to win there, but then I have no protection. Um, I could go duo, con conspirator, duo, and then I have a twin disciples for protection. Gnome de Guer, or let's see, Gnome de Gear. We'll go with that. With the resub. Thank you so much, Gnome. There's always a way out. Thanks, Gnome. The notifications are off today with the the new with the name change. Uh, I guess it's. I guess it could be worth buying the weekly wild cards, depending on you know like what you what you want to do. Like if you like changing decks a lot and and stuff like that. Um, There's a scent in the air. Oh, I only this is only ten damage. This isn't even lethal. I need no Right, because that thing changes. Because, yeah, the, the wild cards... So, while the wild cards are... Um, what's the word? Uh, limited in scope. You know, you can only buy so many per week. You can, you can craft unlimited things with shards. If you can... Uh, keep your shard count high. I'm so good, I surprise myself. Don't blink, or you miss me. Do only have one. Do only have one card left. If I must. A space will. I want to make sure to stay at five, not four, because whenever they cast a spell, I take two damage. Yeah, I still like Life Blade even even with the nerf. Yeah. I 
drew another frost frostbite. Dang. Their two cards had three frostbites. Please don't draw a spell. Just draw a creature. Just draw a creature. If they draw a creature, we win. If they draw a spell, they win. If I would attack to the beginning of the turn, they would have been able to do that same thing. Yay! Yay. Well, I'm going to bounce this thing. I'm, I'm, you know, obviously I'm not going to let them draw a card. Oh. Yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess they need, yeah, they need to draw one more creature. Yeah, because they could just kill me in combat. So yeah, I guess it's the game's not over. Well, we'll block here. We'll gain two life. So I guess I should have blocked this. I don't know. No, yeah, this is right. All right, gain two life so we don't die right away. Alright, come on. They had to top deck like harsh winds to stay alive. Are you kidding me? <sighs> they top deck the one card to stay alive. Uh... Many tribes under one banner. They're not playing the bull because they're keeping that in hand because they could draw. Uh, the three damage spell. They could draw, get excited now, so they could kill me with that. Or never mind. I guess they're gonna play it. Cause I guess now if they draw, get excited, they would be able to untap and draw the next card anyway. In name. Uh, I have to trade. Stand and defend. Man, what a top deck by them. Alert the Everything's better with company. Says you. Think I'm still like a yodel in universe. Oh, come on. Please don't kill me with those things. This has been a, such a frustrating game. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to have 10 puff caps now. So if I draw a puff cap, I lose. Come on, just go straight over here. Just go over here. Yeah. Red strike hard. Oh no. That was also a great top deck. Yeah, it looks like they won. Looks like they found the burn spell. That's why they're emoting. Well, that's unfortunate. I, uh, Pono was very fortunate in that match. Have a lot of things go right. All right, but we're still four and two, and this looks like a mirror. Yeah, 
and looks like we got him here. Okay, I'm gonna replace that and keep the rest. No, it's not a tie. I mean, it. They killed me first. The the game just continues the animations, but I was dead first. The Yordal here is with me. See the Nebastian border from here. Thanks, Toasted. Let's move. Yeah, the only way to die at the same time is if something does damage to both players at the same time. Which I'm not yeah, I'm not sure if there's any cards that do that. I don't think even puff caps. So I think puff caps. Without a sound. Safeguard our homes. So my favorite. I mean, I like to play. Yeah, this this deck. I really like to play this deck. Um, let's see. We did really well with the discard burn the other day. I like the ephemeral aggro a lot. I'm gonna change like one card that we're gonna play later, like the deck we're about to play. All right. Let's see. You block here. It's too late for you. I kind of wanted to have Navori Conspirator uh, bounce this thing, but. That's fine. All right, so we're going to go Omen Hawk and Zed. They'll never see me coming. Oh, you're right there. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Grab it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the the used ca cask salesman that puts out those O1s that do damage to both. Yeah, so if you're both at one like that and there was that card. Do not deny me. This one's trouble. Omen Hawk. We fight for one frail yard. Time for a leap of faith. Uh, and then bouncing Omen Hawk. It's pretty great. Yeah, for for a while at least, Drac yeah, Drac. Maybe, I don't know, but yeah, this game's awesome. I, I wrote about it. Yeah, if you think MTG stale dude, check out what I wrote here about Legends of Rune Terra. I highly recommend it. Looking for a daring escape. Yeah, ho yeah. Cool. Ho yeah, hopefully you check it out and and uh, watch the stream here with it. Yeah, this game's a mu much, much more balanced than the Magic. Full speed ahead. Yeah. 
you call that sneaky? Hawk. Bounce Omen Hawk. There's always a way out. It's kind of sketchy that they're not they're not playing anything over here. They have the mana to play Zed and they're just passing. They want me to tap out and not have Elixir of Iron available anymore? And now play a removal? No? That's a big Navori Conspirator. I think I want to play that. I don't think they'd be playing Avalanche. This isn't really an Avalanche deck. It's an... Step lightly. I think they're too aggressive for Avalanche. Eyes open. Uh, we are in gold two. I'm just gonna. I know I could use the elixir of iron to to pump to give it a plus zero plus two, but I think I actually just want to bounce that thing. Make them spend the four mana again to play it. Not gain the life. I was about to do the plus zero plus two on my like my five one, keep it alive. All right, so another another five and two. Okay, so there we go. So there's buffed elusives. I liked, I liked how this felt. Um, I played this some yesterday, um, off stream, and I, I was kind of struggling a little bit, but, um, and so that's why I made like those changes that I talked about. I think the brittle steel did play very well, but I, I liked having the one elixir of iron. You know, I don't think I want like three of either of those. Um, if you are playing against a lot more damage based things, then you know, switch it up. Go two elixirs, one brittle. Um, you know, you can. You can kind of play with those slots there. But yeah, I like, like the deck quite a bit. All right. So there's uh, there's buffed elusives. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there. I'd really appreciate that. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you're playing, um, if you're playing uh, any decks that... Uh, you're ranking up with and having fun let me know what they are and if i can put them together i'll try them on a stream um not sold on the elder the elder's actually been really good i've actually really liked the elder because our deck has so many uh creatures you know you get to play it um you know you could you can bounce it back to your hand and just another way to pump up these elusive things and it just chump locks i've been happy with it yeah i've been happy with it I don't want like a bunch of them, you know, like I don't want to draw a whole lot of elders, but I, I like having like the one. So that's why I got the one in here. <clears throat> good. Yeah, good pump and chump. There we go. That's what it is. Pump and chump. <laughs> All right. Th anyway, thanks for watching some buffed elusives and I'll see you for the next video.